Watch your head. Oh, wow. What I notice is the deck is framed with pressure treated two by tens. They're 16 inches on center. And for this size deck, this is the right size for the joists to be. That's good. These joists sit in these timber hangers right here and they're fastened to this two by 10 right here, which is called a ledger board. But what I don't see is any mechanical fasteners through the ledger holding the deck to the house. So what is holding the deck to the house? Well, I see a couple of nails. That's about it. And that's not safe, is it? No, this deck is ready to fall. What are we going to do? We're going to jack it back up. All right. Now to keep the deck against the house when we jack it up, I drove two stakes in the ground and another board diagonally against the deck that will hold it into position. The reason I had you sit on that board was to shorten the distance between the deck and the stake. Now I want to straighten the board out and that will put tension on the board and the deck, pushing it tight against the house. Now to push the deck back up into the position I want it to be at, I've tacked this 2x6 up underneath the floor joist. I've laid another 2x6 on the ground underneath the 2x6. I've cut another 2x6 a little bit longer than the distance is between the two. I'll tap this in with my sledgehammer and that will force the deck up. Now we're going to work our way down to the other end. All right, Rob, we have the deck up where we want it to be, but now we have to get it back in against the house tightly. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a couple of different fasteners. We're going to use this one right here to thread into the sill. This is the top of the foundation. Sitting on top of the foundation behind these shingles is a beam. That's called the sill. So we're going to drill some holes in the ledger and thread these into it. Sounds good. I've chosen a drill bit the same diameter as the lag bolt that we're going to use. I want to pre-drill the ledger so that I don't split it, but I do not want to drill into the sill. I want to drill down about three inches from the top, holding the drill on an angle so when the lag bolt goes in, it will get into the meat of the sill. Okay, now I can push the lag bolt into the hole. Okay, I don't want to drive it home yet. That's just touching. Now we'll go to the next one. With the leg bolts all in place, I'll just snug them up. Here's the second fastener that we're going to use. And we're going to use it to fasten the ledger to the foundation. So it's a masonry fastener. I drill a half inch hole into the foundation and I drive this into the hole. When I tighten this up, pulling the ledger in tight, it actually tries to pull this out of the hole. At the end of it, there's this little cone. This sleeve will try to slide up to the cone, expanding itself in the hole, and you can't pull it out. Now I'm going to drill another hole in the bottom of the ledger right here. But there's a space behind the ledger. To make up for that space, I've made a pressure-treated filler. Now I'll drill through the ledger, in through the filler. When I tighten up the masonry faster, it won't split the ledger. Using a masonry bit, I'm going to drill a half inch hole into the foundation. Okay, Rob, take one of those masonry fasteners and put it in the hole. Drive it nice and tight right in there with a hammer, as far as you can get it to go in. Okay, now tighten that down with the impact wrench. Good. All right, let's drill another hole. All right, we've fastened the ledger to the house. First by lagging it into the sill, second by bolting it into the foundation. Now there's one more thing that concerns me, the size of these timber hangers. I brought you a hanger that is designed for engineered lumber. It's actually thicker. Engineered lumber is an inch and three quarters. This is an inch and a half. This will allow me to slip it right over the existing hanger, tight against the bottom, and now I can nail it in place.
All right, let's get these jacks out of here and see how we did. I'll get this in. Well, let's see how it looks. It's nice and flush to the house. And there's no more bounce, so it's nice and safe. Mm -hmm.